just more isolation. It's welcoming you. Anyway, the man and the wife and a kid in their bed between them. Anyway, cyclists having a hard time going up this step. But here in Middle East, there are things happening. You don't know. No one is telling you what the hell is going on. Not because it's just, uh, not because of the reality of anything like that. It's just uh, the government is telling you everything is fine. Just keep going, keep going. Nothing is happening. Not, nobody died today. Nothing happened today. Everything is just fine. The, the Supreme Leader says uh, we have a job to just uh, cover the positive and uh, encouraging news and feeding them to the people. He said it in public. And not in this word, just different words, but exactly the same meaning. Anyway, so you have to read the positive news, positivity or whatever. Let me just move about a little bit. The sinful of the nature of the Islamic countries or Islamic nations uh, you shouldn't have to uh, publicize it or uh, because they believe it's gonna encourage the uh, unlawful people and the enemy of your enemies of the Islamic lands or Islamic states they're gonna use it as a propaganda against the country so by that means any criticizing the government any criticizing negatively uh, any aspect of the government or even the public people uh, regardless of who's going to benefit of it uh, it should uh, it should be uh, you know stopped uh, at any point uh, unless it's gonna hurt the enemies 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 of the Islamic State really distracted it's hot, it's still hot, it's, it, it is end of the summer, but it, it is hot, it, it is extremely hot. Anyway, so, uh, that is the, another Iranian propaganda everywhere. The Iranian, uh, even in small towns, people are encouraging or advertising the, uh, the government, and the, especially the Supreme Leader, not the... Uh, you know, no one cares about the president or something like that. The news, as you can see, some of these women, uh, either passenger or driver, female passenger or female driver, in these cars, they're just passing by. And most of them, or at least some of them, don't have a job. And that is interesting. This is just, uh, this is more trending these days. I mean, this is just a start. Uh, from like uh, 2019, early 2019, and it's still going on. These are just uh, people are camping and having their own fun. Let me just go. Every every fucking place I'm I'm heading, there's some fuckers. It's just coming, and uh, I don't hate people. They're just uh, not normal. I mean. Uh, I have been reported to the cops multiple times when people saw me filming, doing vlogs, anything like that, any, any simple vlogging things. Sometimes I didn't, I didn't even uh, turn on the camera, but they have reported me as a terrorist. This is a fucked up thing. The country is just mental, man. Seriously, it's mental. So I have to be careful. And if they find, they're gonna attach every stupid title to you as a, you know, traitor or the terrorist there or uh, some, for, some some relationship. They would attach you uh, some relationship, which is uh, nonsense to you, and uh, they would attach that titles or uh, things like that. The stupid thing. It doesn't even count as a. Uh, in, I can't even say anything in this conversation anyway, but they would do that, so I have to be careful anywhere, anywhere like that, since uh, things are like that. So, middle east, nothing is changing, nothing is actually changing, nothing is uh, getting, nothing 
clothes is changing, nothing remotely is changing. And uh, I have a 360 camera with me right now. Uh, someone uh, just uh, in a charity way, they gave it to me. But in a stupid way, I can't find a spot that I could turn on the stupid 360 cam in any way. Uh, every time I'm trying to film anything, there's something we are going on and some stupid thing we did is going on. Uh, as you may know, even uh, in uh, modern countries, even in Western world, uh, which everyone has a camera and everywhere is people are filming something somewhere. Uh, even at the tourist areas, even like that. I've seen videos on YouTube, people are uh, covering their cameras or having argue with the security or uh, who are you, what you're doing here or something like that. And I don't, uh, and imagine I have uh, the same camera I would operate it here. It doesn't go that way. These are uh, sounding, uh, uh, these are, uh, you know, what was a musical instruments which uh, the traditionally there are illegal and um, but for some reason uh, they're selling it because this is uh, this roads I've told you many times this roads is roads of the illegal or posh people posh people are coming here people who don't believe the Islam or uh, they're alone they don't actually if they're not against the Iranian government they're not uh, so far supporting the government as well so they're doing they're dancing they're having the music dancing with themselves but mostly in inside their own homes or mansions or whatever the hell is that way or that way or someplace other way so the thing is People are going doing their own business. They have been doing that for thousands of years. There's nothing, nothing has been changed whatsoever. Anyway, I just want to point it out. That was the musical instruments, and uh, it is a Iranian type of musical instruments. And uh, look at that! Look at that building. It's about just fall right into the small valley and they're stupid they're making it stuff they don't care it's both illegal and dangerous but who cares there's a flash flood sign over there and uh, maybe two months or five months later they're gonna be a flash flood over here but so this business uh, should be prepared for that but none of them so far is caring uh, that was the point i just want to show you guys regardless of how illegal and stupid it is uh, like your, the drug store who is selling that drug mm -hmm. It doesn't 